That was what architect Michael Graves did until fate forced a change of plans. How Graves responded to terrible adversity is the subject of Martha Teichner's Sunday Profile. To me, design is about simplicity. In the new Target ad... It's about inspiration. You see the wheelchair and wonder. Everyone can afford great design. No, he wasn't always in it. Yes, the story is remarkable. Michael Graves had it made. Among architects, his was a name to be dropped. He'd built trophy buildings all over the world. The household products he'd designed for Target stores were so popular, people called the color they came in Michael Graves Blue. Michael Graves has created art that surrounds our lives. Here he's being awarded the National Medal of the Arts. On February 23, 2003, at age 69, success was a given in his life. The very next day, his survival wasn't even a sure thing. I felt like I was a, f a flag um, blowing in the wind, and I was holding on for dear life. I got off into a bad start. In unspeakable pain. Over the course of 24 hours, Michael Graves became paralyzed from just above the waist down. There you go. Good. What comes first to your mind is how you get better. If you're a positive freak like I am, you know, where is it going from here? Is this going to take another week? Uh, what's, what's happening? Good. We met him that July, five months after he developed the horrific freak virus that quite literally ate sections of his spinal cord. Looks like you were hitting a ball, exactly. Swing it right across your body. He was a patient at the Kessler Institute, a rehabilitation facility in West Orange, New Jersey, in combat with the new given in his life. Oh, I know I'm going to walk again. I'm not, I'm not just being... You know, uh, talkative. I, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, oh. With knots in our stomachs, we've heard him say it over and over. What we've seen in nearly three years watching his struggle is a man convinced stem cell research will lead to spinal cord regeneration. Yes, I try to dress myself in the morning before the aides get into the room. A man infuriated by the indignities of paralysis. You have no idea what the loss of privacy is in every way. Not just in bed. That's just those interns looking at you. Not anything. You know, you have nothing that you can say. You can't see that or you can't be in here. Or could I have a little peace, please? Um, no. But as you will see, this is not a story about anger and denial and self-pity. This is another Michael Graves success story. You certainly get frustrated, my goodness, uh, trying things that you can't do until you can. I'm out of here. In the middle of all the awfulness, a weird diversion. The former fanatical golfer is enlisted by the manufacturer to try out and critique, yes, a golf cart for the handicapped. In his new altered world, Michael Graves, the patient, revised his expectations. Michael Graves, the designer, did not. I refused to use Velcro. <laughs> a little too ugly for me. That was like day one request. <laughs> Velcro's too ugly. What about the decor in here with the various flowers and the parts <laughs> and the shape? I wasn't the architect. <laughs> there were stories that when he was first in the hospital, at his sickest, he said, I can't die here. It's too ugly. <laughs> Is that true? I did say that. <laughs> uh, they, <laughs> I said that, and uh, yet little did I know there were uglier ones. He had no idea what he was in for. 
When Graves checked out of Kessler Institute that summer, he had been experiencing stiffness in his hands and arms, but was told not to worry. He boarded the plane Target sent for him and headed for a company event in Minneapolis. Our cameraman accompanied him. He ended up not in Minneapolis, but Miami at a research hospital in hideous pain. His paralysis was spreading. He was obviously scared to death because he was drowning neurologically. Drowning? Drowning neurologically, sure. He was losing his ability to breathe. He lost his sensation up to his neck. He was losing it in his arms and his strength in his hands. So this was rapidly progressing. Speaking to us between surgeries, Dr. Barth Green, president of the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis, described literally racing death as he performed the all-day spinal surgery on Michael Graves that managed to arrest the advance of his paralysis. Graves would spend the next year in and out of hospitals, but there was this consolation. He could still draw. When I was growing up, the one thing I could do well was to draw. As a child in Indiana, as a student in Italy, as a practicing architect and designer, drawing was his passion, his vocabulary of choice, an expression of his sense of humor, an extension of his thoughts. Now it was a symbol of his ability to go on working. He never stopped, no matter how sick he was, no matter how much pain he was in. He never gave up.